several news outlets have reported this story now, but this is the original source as far as I'm aware to Sunday World and the claim is that Tyson Fury over the past few days was refused entry into the United States due to his links to Daniel Kinahan. He was apparently not allowed to board a flight in the UK to the US. It says here last month, Assistant Garda Commissioner John O'Driscoll confirmed more than 600 people with links to the Kinahan leader have been barred from entering the United States by American authorities. And there's some speculation out there as well that the likes of Matthew Macklin, Coogan Cassius, and various other people have also been denied entry into America. Again, I don't know whether any of this is true. I'm just telling you what's out there in the world of boxing fans and the boxing fraternity and what have you. Now, there are some people speculating that this might be the real reason why Tyson Fury is retired, quote unquote. They think that it doesn't have so much to do with him using the Mayweather method, as I call it, but more to do with him finding some type of legal loophole whereby it's more difficult to investigate him if he is officially retired versus him being still active. Again, I've got no idea whether that's true. And if any of you are well-versed in these types of legal matters, I'd be very interested to hear from you in the comments section below. Now, I've also heard that Tyson Fury recently purchased a home in Las Vegas or somewhere in Nevada. And if that's the case, and he really has been barred from going to the United States, that's very unfortunate indeed. He must feel aggrieved that he can not actually access his home over there because Tyson Fury was seemingly really enjoying his time in the US. In fact, it wasn't that long ago when he said he would never fight in the UK again. Of course, he has since, but he was talking about finishing his career over in the United States, saying that the British Boxing Board of Control and the establishment, the boxing establishment in Britain, really, I guess, did him dirty. That's the way he feels. And he didn't want to deal with him again. So this is somebody that has a lot of affection for the United States. He's had a lot of good times over there. He's had some great wins over there. So if he isn't allowed to fight over there again, or even just enter the country, then it's obviously going to be something very disappointing to him. Now, how will this affect his boxing career if he decides to continue? Well, it all depends on how long this investigation lasts for, if he's really been banned from the US. If he has nothing to hide, if there's nothing that he's particularly worried about, then surely he'll be looking to cooperate as much as possible with the relevant authorities to clear his name so he can then start going to the United States again. But of course, they're going to presumably ask him all sorts of questions about Kinahan himself and try and get evidence on Kinahan from Tyson Fury. And when authorities believe that somebody has information on a particular person of interest who they're pursuing, and that information is not forthcoming from said person, they can start getting difficult with the individual. Uh, they can start making things tough for them because their whole mindset is, well, if you're not going to give us the information we want, we don't care if this guy was your friend or whoever he is. If you're not going to give us the information we want, then we're not going to play ball with you. When you need certain things, we're not going to help you out. So again, I'm not sure what the reality is regarding this situation between Obviously, Fury and Kinahan know each other. They've been pictured together many times. Fury was an MTK fighter, etc., etc. But I'm talking about how much Fury is meant to know and what the authorities in the United States really expect from him and how long all this is going to drag out for. I don't know. But if Tyson Fury does, and, and perhaps that's one of the reasons why this fight against Francis Ngannou didn't really go anywhere. You know, Francis Ngannou was there at the Dylan White fight and Tyson Fury expressed his desire to face Ngannou, I think in the octagon with boxing rules. 
Where's that going? Perhaps it can still happen in the UK. I don't know, because Tyson Fury has been talking about having some exhibition bouts while he is officially retired. So anyway, let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments below. Do you believe the story that Tyson Fury was denied entry into the US? You know, he wasn't allowed to board a flight in London. Or do you think that it's uh, some BS by the newspapers? Also, if it is true, do you think this is the real reason, quote unquote, that Tyson Fury has apparently retired? Do you think the two things are linked? And how do you think this will affect Tyson Fury's boxing career in the short and long term? Do you think it will keep him out of the ring? At the end of the day, as far as I'm aware, he can still fight in the UK. He could still fight in various other overseas territories. It just, at the moment, appears to be the US, if this story is true, that Tyson Fury can't fight in. So it shouldn't be too much of an issue, right? Let me know what you guys think in the comments.